Hi everyone, Primrose here and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am going to share with you how I propagate Hoya um, indoor because I am doing everything indoor. I grow my plants indoor and I propagate them indoor as well. So this is my um, very first and the only Hoya I have in my collection. And it came to me with this name tag. So this is the Hoya Carnosa Rubra. And I actually have two varieties in one pot. So as you can see, uh, this is the variegated version. And I have the plain green version. And both of them are currently uh, producing buds. So there's one over there. It's still very tiny that it's almost impossible to see. But that one is just about to open. And another one there is finished and it's about to go. And one more here. So this one here, this stem is bare without any leaves on it. But it's producing buds. So it bloomed twice this year and as soon as the um, old flowers drop, the pedicles uh, produce buds uh, right um, after. So I say this is the most easy care plant you can have in your collection and I would recommend it even for a beginner, for someone who do not have any experience with house plants. But uh, willing to give it a try, definitely this will thrive um, beautifully. Um, it does not require any special care at all, as long as it is getting enough bright light and a little bit of direct sunlight as well. So this is situated in my west facing window. So this is getting a direct sunlight in the afternoon and it prefers to be on the dry side I think the um, very um, easy thing that can kill this plant is to overwater it and so let's now go to the uh, propagation part so this is the stem so some along here Along the stem, this is where the roots, uh, the roots, the roots will grow. <laughs> and along this part here, the node, you see where the leaves are. This, in this uh, section, this is where the new growth will come out. So what I did is I clipped a part of a stem and a node. And I think that it's possible to also, if that is what you wanted to do, to make a really long cut and um, try to propagate it. I haven't done that uh, one, so, but I think it's possible that you can propagate Hoya that way as well. But uh, two things that you have to remember is that um, if you have a bunch of leaves on your cutting, the plant will now divide its energy uh, in trying to keep those leaves healthy and lush and alive. And at the same time, uh, it will try to produce roots, but I think it will slow down the uh, production or the development of the roots if um, the plant uh, has a lot of leaves to support. So we will now, I, I will now show you the um, propagated Hoya that I did some two weeks back. So this was very um, bushy that I thought it's now time to uh, propagate it. 
so this is my tiny propagation box um this is very uh cheap i think i paid a pound and 50 for this and uh i also use a rooting hormone but i think this is not essential to use a rooting hormone but definitely it will increase your chance of having a successful propagation and I got this a pound, for a pound as well so um, this is the best time to propagate your Hoya or any of your house plants because um, the warmer weather um, the hot air it uh, stimulate the root growth so as you can see this is the very first one that I did and uh, when I saw that it is a success I then went ahead and propagated more uh, so this is the very recent one that I did and as you can see uh, that stem there that is not inserted into the soil is beginning to produce um, tiny roots as well and um, so I missed it until the soil is moist but I think you can pour water into this um, plant as well if you want but I just feel like uh, a spray bottle um, gives me more control of how much water I um, give this plant because they don't need a lot and definitely I would recommend this uh, propagation uh, box so this is my first try to use this and I really like it so this covering here um, it keeps the moist and um, the humidity around the plant and also it has some tiny holes at the bottom uh, just to provide some airflow as well so that the soil and um, the plants here do not get any molds and also if you can see that tip where I had to cut the stem I um, I coated it with cinnamon powder so the cinnamon powder acts as an antibacterial and also it dries up very quickly that part there so you, uh, you won't risk getting a mold or rotting as well so um, I think that's all about that's all about it and so this is just a small box and um, I have a small space so this is perfect and you have to keep it away from direct sunlight as well um, so I think that's all about it really very easy very simple and thank you so much guys for watching and I will see you in the next video take care bye